Hey YouTube, so I'm going to do a uh, server review for the R210. So, um, it's pretty small form factor. Um, so, 19 inch, obviously, standard form factor. But it, depth wise, it's actually less than, I think it's like 17 inches. Um, something like that. Uh, it doesn't have one of those new, like, button displays where you can, like, you know, it just has numbers and then a light on the front. Uh, power button, VGA on the front, and two USBs. It also has two internal USBs, um, which you can put a, uh, a, a like operating system on, like if you're running ESXi or, or PFSense, I know a lot of people run them off these. It has uh, two hard drives here, um, and it also has a CD bay, which you can buy converters for that convert it to a two and a half inch hard drive. Um, three fans up in here, uh, no redundant fans or anything. Um, so, uh, you know, if you if, uh, if one fails, you've got to replace it kind of quick if you're putting a lot of workload on it or anything like that. Um, you can have options for the standard iDRAC uh, and the Enterprise iDRAC, which I've just installed. And then here I have a uh, four-port network card um, in the back there. Uh, so the Enterprise iDRAC port's right there. Um, the CPU, you take the CPU cover off. It's got like airflow sticker, you can install uh, Xeon, I can't remember what socket this is. Um, but you have four, uh, you can have up to 16 gigs of RAM in the non-second version. In the second version you can have 32. Um, I believe if you have the board for the second version, which you can buy on eBay, you can just swap out the board and it becomes uh, able to have 32 gigs of RAM. Um, you have your power supply over here, non-redundant or anything like that. Um, this is a, like mainly a low power machine. Uh, the I think the R310 or uh, any newer generations of it uh, have redundant power supplies. It's like this, but with redundant power supplies. Um, these RAM sticks are uh, it takes ECC RAM and a Xeon, um, obviously as a server, but uh, the RAM sticks are unbuffered, which is uh, quite expensive. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're buying the server. It's uh, best to buy it with the maximum possible amount of RAM. In it, um, I only have four gigs in here, um, but as it's a router, going to be a router for me, it's fine. Uh, it comes with two Broadcom on board uh, Ethernet ports, um, so I have an Intel network card in here for PFSense. Uh, um, so, yeah, it has on the back uh, iDRAC if you choose to put it in a single uh, slot. It's an X16 slot, I might point out, so uh, if you have a one slot graphics card, which not many people do, um, you can throw it in, but uh, that's quite a nice addition as most servers only have like X8. Um, it has an eSATA port, um, uh, VGA, so serial, VGA, eSATA, it has two USBs, and it has two gigabit, uh, those gigabit ports powered off that Broadcom chip, and then it has an identifier light, so you press this, or the one at the front, and it'll, the other one will blink, it also blinks orange if you have a, uh, there's something wrong, like a fan failed. Um, then you have the obviously the power supply at the back there. I'm going to uh, bring a power lead over and do a power on test um, to show you how loud this was. Um, it may be different because I've just installed that iDRAC, but um, yeah, so normally it, it was quite loud for me. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, but I've heard people have got these quite quiet, so um, just. Put the CPU cover back on. Yeah, so I'll get a cable over here and do a power up. So I've got a cable, um, just a side note, uh, that if you don't have the lid on, it will spin the fans up to full speed. So plug that in. But, uh, I have mine set to automatically power on. So, uh, yeah. This is my normal talking voice. Uh, this is my voice I talk like when uh, I have all the servers in the stack running, so uh, for the start it just spins up to full speed like this. And um, eventually it will spin down, um, unless the new iDRAC changed something. So I'll demonstrate this button, oh yep, so it spins down. So see the blue flashing light? That all flash on the back here, so if you have a whole rack of these, you can identify which is which. And 
Do that, and it does the same on front likewise. Um, mine's flashing orange uh, just because I have a bit of a bad thing on it. Still uh, works, uh, so won't affect the sound of this too much. But uh, oh, that's gone nice and quiet. That must be the uh, I reckon that. Um, so yeah. That's what it's like uh, with an iDRAC installed. So, the solution to a quiet server is install the iDRAC. Uh, so yeah, that will be uh, it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, if you have any co comments or questions or um, anything like that, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll hopefully answer them.